Do not leave me to the will of my foes, O Lord, for false witnesses rise up against me, and they breathe out violence. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of his Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. As we journey in this holy week, we journey with the Lord to the cross. As we journey with the Lord, we place ourselves in the hands of our God's mercy, seeking freedom from anything that keeps us from the Lord. You journey with us along the path of life, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You reveal the mystery of the cross to us, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You learned obedience through your suffering, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever living God, grant us to celebrate the mysteries of the Lord's passion that we may merit to receive your pardon through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Hear me, O islands. Listen, O distant people. The Lord called me from birth. From my mother's womb, he gave me my name. He made of me a sharp-edged sword and concealed me in the shadow of his arm. He made me a polished arrow. In his quiver, he hid me. You are my servant, he said to me, Israel, through whom I will show my glory. Though I thought I had toiled in vain and for nothing uselessly spent my strength, yet my reward is with the Lord, my recompense is with my God. For now the Lord has spoken, who formed me as his servant from the womb, that Jacob may be brought back to him and Israel gathered to him. And I am made glorious in the sight of the Lord, and my God is now my strength. It is too little, he says, for you to be my servant, to raise up the tribes of Jacob, and to restore the survivors of Israel. I will make you a light to the nations, that my salvation may reach to the ends of the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A response to the song, I will sing of your salvation. I will sing of your salvation. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your justice, rescue me and deliver me. Incline your ear to me and save me. I will sing of your salvation. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. For you are my rock and my fortress. My God, rescue me from the hand of the wicked. I will sing of your salvation. For you are my hope, O Lord, my trust, O God, from my youth. On you I depend from birth, from my mother's womb, you are my strength. I will sing of your salvation. My mouth shall declare your justice, day by day your salvation. O oh God, you have taught me from my youth, and till the present I proclaim your wondrous deeds. I will sing. King, 
Father, you were led to your crucifixion like a gentle lamb to the slaughter. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Reclining at table with his disciples, Jesus was deeply troubled and testified, Amen, amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me. The disciples looked at one another and lost to whom he meant. One of his disciples, the one whom Jesus loved, was reclining at Jesus' side. So Simon Peter nodded to him to find out whom he meant. He leaned back against Jesus' chest and said to him, Master, who is it? Jesus answered, It is the one to whom I end the morsel after I have dipped it. So he dipped the morsel and took it and handed it to Judas. Simon, son of Simon, the Iscariot. So Judas took the morsel, Satan didn't enter. So Jesus said to him, What you're going to do, do quickly. Now, none of those reclining at the table realized why he said this to them. Some thought that since Jesus kept the money bag, Jesus had told him, Buy what you need for the feast, or to give something to the poor. So Judas took the morsel and left at once, and it was night. And he left Jesus, and when he left, Jesus said, Now is the Son of Man glorified, and God is glorified in him. If God is glorified in him, God will also glorify him, and he will glorify him at once. My children, I will be with you only a little while longer. You will look for me, and as if I told the Jews, where I go, you cannot come. So now I say to you, Simon said to him, Master, where are you going? Jesus said to him, Where I am going, you cannot follow me now, though you will follow later. Peter said to him, Master, why can, why can I not follow you now? I will lay down my life for you. Jesus answered, Will you lay down your life for me? Amen, amen, I say to you, the cock will not crow before you deny me three times. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Have you ever wondered what it would have like, been like to have been at the Last Supper? What would have it have been like to have been here? You know, I think there's a lot of different words that we can use to describe what it would have been like to have been at the Last Supper. I mean, it would have been pretty amazing then there when Jesus took the bread for the first time and said, Take, eat this, this is my body. Take and drink this. This is my blood. There would have also been a very festive gathering. Each year the Jews would have gathered to celebrate, to remember their Passover of their ancestors from Egypt. And there's many other words that we could use to describe this gathering. But there's one word that I'd like to pull out. And, as, and that is, it probably would have been a little awkward to be there as well. I mean, just think of what Jesus said in the course of this meal. He says, one of you is going to betray me. Could you imagine being there if you were Judas? To be known that you were to be the one to betray 
be called out, not by name, but to know that you're being called out was then a moment of uncomfort. Or could you imagine being there among the other disciples when he says, all of your faith is going to be in me, going to be shaken. Or Peter, being told you're going to deny me three times. The disciples' response, I think, is natural. There's no way I would deny you. My faith in you is going to stand firm. Yet we know the end of the story. We do know that in some ways they seem to fail the Lord in his power, his power in his name. Yet it's when their faith was shaken that it seems to make their faith even stronger. Right now, we are going through tough times in this health epidemic. And for many of us, our faith is being shaken as well. Sometimes it may seem as though we are failing. In some ways, we may even question our faith at this time. But may our faith also stand firm. Do we stand strong in our faith as a palm tree in the storm? The palm tree in the storm bends. But does it break? May we also do the same. As we journey through this storm right now, may we bend, but not break, knowing that this will make our faith even stronger. It's with faith in our God we bring forth our prayers. For all members of the church, may Christ strengthen us as we share the good news of the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For leaders and those who carry responsibility for the welfare of others, may Jesus guide them in the way of servant leadership. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are struggling or suffering, may God's love and presence with them bring consolation and comfort. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all gathered, may God open our hearts more fully and increase our faith in him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, that they may rest in the loving presence of our God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the intentions of these liturgy, for David Monaghan and Nora Foss, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord our God, we bring forth to you our prayers and trust. We bring forth to you trust, for you, we trust that you will hear and answer them in the way that you see us fit. We make these and all our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you. Through the earth, the work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you. Through the vine, the work of human hands will become for us a spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever.
Pray, my sisters and brothers, that this our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good, the good of all his holy church. Look favorably, O Lord, we pray, on the offerings of your family and to those you make partakers of the sacred gifts, grant a share in their fullness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for the days of a saving passion and glorious resurrection are approaching, by which the pride of the ancient foe is vanquished, and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs, in one chorus of exalted praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave you thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving you thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Dennis and Joseph, our bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ.
through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours now and forever. the Savior's command informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth that it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant us peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and saved from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace to leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And also with you. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, for only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. God did not spare his son, own son, but he handed him over for all of us. Let us pray. Nourished by your saving gifts, we beseech your mercy, Lord, that by the same sacrament with which you have fed us in this present age, may make us partakers of life eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. And let us pray Pope Francis' prayer um, during this health epidemic. O oh Mary, you always shine on our path as a sign of salvation and of hope. We entrust ourselves to you, health of the sick, who at the cross took part in Jesus' pain. Keeping your faith firm, you, salvation of the Roman people, know what we need, and we are sure you will provide. So that is in Cana of Galilee, 
we may return to joy and to feasting after this time of trial. Help us, Mother of Divine Love, to conform to the will of the Father and to do as we are told by Jesus, who has taken upon himself our sufferings and carried our sorrows to lead us through the cross to the joy of the resurrection. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May your mercy, O God, cleanse the people that are subject to you from all seduction of former ways and make them capable of new holiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go forth in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.